Okay, this video is to help you get ready for stripe test. Um, this month you're getting your stripe for focus and if you're in the Karate Kids class, you're getting a star for Black Belt Excellence. So we're gonna start with the technique and we're gonna focus on the parts that need to be in it and then we're gonna do some drills with it that will require focus and excellence. We're gonna start with the front kick. Very basic. You're gonna start in the guard stance. Your hips and shoulders are gonna stay square to your kick. A lot of times when people do front kicks, they turn here. Okay, so you turn here, now my hips and shoulders are there. It's not really a front kick anymore. So my hips and shoulders have to be square to my target. So I'm gonna start in my guard stance. My knee is gonna come up, there's my chamber. I'm gonna kick, there's my kick, and I'm actually by getting my rotation by pushing my hips out of the re-chamber and set it back down. Uh, I don't know if you can see my toes from there. Let me crank this back down because you need to see my toes. Okay, balls of your feet. I'm standing on the balls of my feet here. That's the part of my foot that hits the target when I do a front kick. So I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna do five on each side. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll do five on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then I need you to find something that you can kick over. Okay, I am going to get my rolly stool. Okay, so now I'm going to do my front kick over the stool. So I got to chamber my foot high enough that it clears the target. Kick in and back down. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then I also want you to do five on the other side. And what I want you to notice when I start here in my guard stance, I said to you before, when you do the kick, your hips and shoulders have to be square. But your guard stance isn't square, you start here. So when I chamber, I square myself to the front, and then when I put my foot back down, I'm back off the square. Okay, so while I was doing that, you should have done five on the other side. Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want you to find the target. Okay, I'm just gonna use the edge of the table. And this again is where we're working on focus. I want you to focus I'm putting the ball of your foot on the target. This is slow, we're not going fast, there's no power, we're working on focus. So I'm gonna start here. One, ball of the foot on the target. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so what I'm focusing on here is the control of being able to set my foot where I want to. And then I want you to switch stance and do five more. One two, three, four, five. Okay, then you need to get a partner for the next part. Okay, there's two parts to this. The first one is you're gonna stand here and your partner's gonna call to you. And you're gonna turn to wherever they are and you, the first part is about control, focusing on control. The second part will be focusing on using the kick in self-defense. Okay, so I'm here, person calls to me, I turn towards them, I kick, and I just set my foot lightly, right at their, right at their if they were wearing a belt, it would be right above their belt. And I come back to my guard stance, and they move around me, and they call to me from somewhere else, and I turn to them, and I just touch them with my foot. I'm not hitting hard. I come back to my guard stance, they call me, wherever they call me from my turn to, and tag. Again, I want you to do 10 kicks like that, then, if you have a focus pad, I'd like you to use a focus pad. If you don't, just grab a piece of paper and hold it out, okay? Because now you're going to kick harder. So, you start in your guard stance again like we did before, and your partner's going to call you, and you're going to turn to them, and you're going to hit the target. And you're going to come back to your guard stance, and they're going to call you, and you're going to turn, hit the target, come back to your guard stance. I want you to do 10 more like that, hitting targets. Okay, so if you are a white belt, this month your form that you're reviewing for stripe test is basic form two. And 
What I want you to think about when you do this form, we're focusing on excellence, is every move you take, I want you to peek down at your feet. Make sure that your toes are all square towards the front. Make sure your hips and shoulders are square. If your toes are not square, that's gonna, if they're pointing off to the back corner, that's gonna set your hips and shoulders up. So make sure that you're square. And then make sure when you do your three quarter turn that you step far enough back that when you turn to triple chassis, you're in a nice wide stance. You don't want to be here. Okay, so every move you make, be peeking at your feet. I know that you're supposed to be looking at your target when you do this, but you're getting ready for strike test now. So I want you to be focusing on details that make the form look like what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so if you're an orange belt or a blue belt, your form is peeing on showdown. And the reason you have a whole form this month is because last month you, uh, white belts had basic form one first month, basic form two second month. Orange belts and blue belts had basic form three first month, second month we have peeing on showdown. So a couple of things you need to focus on peeing on showdown, like the basic form, you need to be looking at your feet, make sure your feet, hips, shoulders are all square. On this move, Make sure when you pull back that your feet are in the tiny little cat stance with your right heel resting on your left ankle, palms are facing you, right ones on the inside. Make sure you rotate your hips here between the low block and the center block. Just like on basic form two with the three quarter turn, make sure that your stance comes out wide enough. If not, Go back and do it a couple more times. Put yourself in front of the mirror if you need to, or videotape yourself so that you can look at your feet. Now the other thing that you need to focus on with this form is these last four blocks are pain blocks. Pain blocks, by definition, chamber 180 degrees off where they're gonna block. So the first block's gonna be there, which means it has to chamber there. So I'm not gonna chamber here and swing. I'm gonna chamber block. Next block is there. So the chamber's 180 degrees off. Next block is there, so the chamber has to be there. And last block is to that corner, so the chamber has to be to the corner behind me. Okay, if you're in the advanced class, green, brown, red, um, you're doing second half of Nyanchi Edon. Two things that you really need to focus on with Nyanchi Edon are, well, stances. You're, you, you have to be down. Ideally, your toes are in and your knees are out. That's a hard thing to get to um, without doing this. Okay, it's all gonna be tucked. If you can't do that with your toes in, work on getting your toes straight forward. But you don't want your toes out, that's a different stance and that's not the stance we use when the target's in front of us. Um, and then the other thing you need to focus on, when you do a block here, your fingers need to be here. Somebody's throwing a punch and I'm blocking it. If my fingers are sticking out past and I miss the punch, my fingers are gonna get crunched by whatever's punching. So you don't, you don't wanna go there. Okay, so the form ended last month and ended here. So this month we did one, okay? Look at your stance, make sure your knees are bent, make sure your toes are in. Make sure your fingers are not sticking up past your fist. Two, three, make sure you stay down, no bouncing head, make sure you step as high as your knee. Five, same thing in the other direction. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I was mirror to you. When you do nine inches, you go right first, then left. So six counts right, six counts left, five counts right, five counts left. So when you practice this, you're facing me and you're doing it in, in the same direction I am. I started off going that way, which is left. So if you're doing it and you're facing me, you're practicing in the right direction. It's hard with the nine inches because if I do it with my back to you, you can't see what my hands are doing, so there's not much point. First degree black belts, Sip Su, second half of Sip Su. We finished, gotta get there, here. So we came up through the crane stance, center block, back through the crane stance, slowly through Soko Chassi with the um, Yakusudo and the palm heel. Again, 
Do the crane stance, yuxtable palm heel, and one more. Three-quarter turn to calf stance. Um, low block, hand is up like we do in Jinte, and then the same on the other side. Then I'm gonna to step to the front with my left foot high block, step to the right, high block, left to the back high block, and right to the back high block, and back to the beginning. And then second and third degree black belts, we're doing Gun Sangoon. Um, we're not finishing it. I'm gonna start part way through. We're, we're not, I would like to take this out over three months. So I want the piece I want you to review for this month's strike test. We will start here with the sidekicks. Okay, so I'm gonna do, there's no index. I mean, there's no motion defense. I'm just bringing my hands right up. Sidekick, hammer, pull the foot in, step back. Make sure you step back the triple chassis so that when you turn, you're in a nice wide triple chassis again. If you drop your foot here, then you end up in a bow stance, which isn't right. Then I'm gonna drop my hands to my left hip, no motion defense, side kick hammer. Then I'm gonna do four chill song blocks on that same four like diagonal that we do in every form. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now you can see my hands. So then we'll do it the way the form goes. The form, you were facing back and you were here. Okay, so you could see what I was doing. Now you can follow along with me. One, two, one, Two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Make sure on this one it's a Japanese cat stance so and your hips and shoulders are facing the target. Four. Okay, so I want you to practice that and I want you to think about no motion defense. I want you to think about nice side kick chamber with your foot here like it's on a step and when you throw the side kick i want you to bring it all the way back in and step back so i'm in triple chassis facing there so when i turn i'm in triple chassis going forward okay we start off from the white belt curriculum two handshakes um first one is the thumb lock somebody grabs your hand trap it step back then you're going to turn your hand, I'm gonna put my fingers over, I'm gonna make a peace sign, put it over their wrist, which is out here. Turn their hand, so mine's on top and theirs is underneath. And I'm gonna put my finger on their thumb and peel. So trap, sorry, make your, make your V. Step back, turn the hand, so theirs is down, peel the thumb, punch. The other one is the thumb lock, um, is the grind. This is the spot you're grinding. So they, they, they shake your hand, you grab your own thumb, then you take your tip of your index finger and you're grinding it here on them. Okay. Um, to, we're also going to do, I have video for you of Katagaruma and of the ground defense. And then there is video of the entire leg lock arm bar series. It's not included in this video, but to, in order to review that for strike test, it is up here on the YouTube page. Starting off with Katagarima off a handshake. The thing I'm gonna do first is pull him into me off balance. And as he's coming in, I'm gonna turn and throw an elbow. Then I wanna get my feet lined up in front of his. And I want, you need to see this over here. Okay, I'm gonna get his arm to the outside of my shoulder. If I have it here, he, well, number one, he's gonna choke me. And also, if I could throw him from here, it's a different choke. It needs to be on the outside. His arms are long. I'm actually gonna readjust re my hand. Okay, when I do this, I'm not moving my feet. 
if you do this, it's a different throw. I'm just going to take my feet. Look at my foot. When I drop this foot, my toes are flat. If I put them here and he lands there, I'm going to break all the little toes on the bottom, on the top of my foot. Okay, so we start again from the handshake. I'm going to pull him off balance, step into the elbow. I might have to throw a few more. Okay, then I'm going to come here. I'm just going to readjust this. I'm just going to turn my hips facing that way and drop my right knee to the floor without losing the contact here. And that's what makes the self-defense work. Okay. This one is a ground defense and it's from the guard. So if the person is sitting on top of you, that's called the mount. This one is from the guard. He's between my knees and he's choking me. I'm going to bring one hand up underneath and trap, and this elbow is going to lift. It's going to throw his balance off a little bit and take this thumb out of my throat. Okay, I'm going to cup my hand, pop his eardrum, come back, elbow if I can reach, rake his face. I'm going to scoop my butt, grab his back with this foot, pull my other foot over his head. Then I'm going to take both hands, grab his, in this case, right hand, push him over, to use my feet to pull so that my butt's all the way up against his body. If I'm here, the arm bar's not going to work. So I got to pull here. And if you let go and do it like this, he's going to get away. So I'm going to come here and use his body for leverage. Then I'm going to put his pinky finger on my collarbone. And without letting it slide down my arm or my chest, I'm just going to lay back till I have an arm bar. Okay, if I get there and he doesn't tap, I will lift my hips. If you lift your hips and they don't tap, put your heel here and push as you lift. Thank you, sir. Okay, sticks. One stick and two sticks, second half. So if you are doing one stick, we're doing the 16 count, and this month we did the second half, which is 9 through 16. So I'll do it in both directions. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so I'll go this way if you want to follow me. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, and then if you're doing two sticks, so if you're a red belt, you should be reviewing both of these, both of these sets. This month we're doing three and four, so it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Other direction, if you want to follow with me, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So ideally, you would practice that with somebody. If you don't have, if you can't talk anyone into it, in the air is better than nothing. But with the person is be much better. Okay. Um, second half of the side form. I'll do it in both directions. You can follow my feet. We finished last month here. So now we come. This month we came to the front. Left foot forward. Double punch to the to the top. Uh, right below the collarbone. Orbit. Slam them down, break the collarbone, close them both. High block right. High block left, as you do, the right one comes back and stabs up. Close it. Front kick, pump front kick, low block. Open, open, roll and step. Right foot steps to the back, left foot steps to the front. Bring them both to the hip. Step forward, they're both open. Right one's high. Left one is stabbing up. So we'll finish, we finish the first month here. So one. Two. Three. And second half of the Tonfa set. Um, the first month finished here. Second month we came to the front. Low block, punch, punch, 
pull your feet up, smash the person's head. Step forward with the left foot as you start doing figure eights. Continue forward with the right foot figure eights. Flip them over. I'm not gonna do it in the kitchen because I don't want to drop them, but you're gonna flip them over and catch them here. Hit the guy in the head. Slide them back down. Reset them as your right foot steps back through Soko Rip Chossie. You punch, right hand on top. Okay, so going the other way. We were here. Low block, punch, punch, hit. Left foot, right foot, switch them up, hit, switch them back down, close them, step back, come through, so chassis, you punch.